Hi folks, we are in the market for a new plasma machine. Torchmate has been great, but you end up paying a pretty big premium for the smaller 4x4 uh, drop cut sheets, and usually we have to wait a day or two because they have to get sheared somewhere. The way to do this is to run a 4x8 machine. It'll also be great for just simply doing larger uh, single parts or bigger nests. So um, it's funny because as much as I'm excited to get a new machine, Plasma for us usually is a, like a support machine or a support tool. In other words, usually it's not the work that we're directly bidding out, uh, but nevertheless is a great machine. And I want a machine that I, I really like working with. And so I wanted to ask you guys, who has a Plasma that they love? Um, some of the things I don't love about this machine is no home switches. Um, I find that it binds a little bit, and some of that may be uh, fixable with more of a user um, tweaking, but this growth series just isn't a rigid enough frame. And let me tell you, it stinks when you uh, bind up on a plate, lose steps, and ruin uh, a cutter apart. We added a magnetic breakaway, so it'll stop when it crashes, uh, which I would definitely want on a new machine. Um, we have the auto, uh, what do they call it, arc voltage height control, which is absolutely necessary. It needs to be faster. I can't run this machine faster than 100, 150 inches a minute. Um, and when you're cutting thin stuff, it needs to be faster for the cut quality, but it also um, will increase our production times. I actually do like our Hypertherm 65 torch. Uh, we may end up selling it with this machine because the machine does work fine. I just, again, it's not for me an ideal machine. It's a four by four machine, but you can't really, you, you can't fit a four by four uh, plate on it in terms of actual travel extent. So you end up positioning the plate to make full use of it, which is one reason why I think we'll end up getting a five by 10 machine. That way you can easily fit a four by eight on it. It doesn't have to be per perfectly lined up. I also want to be able to move the gantry out of the way so that when you use a forklift or an overhead crane to drop plates onto it, you can have that out of the way. It's safer and it's faster. I think I need some more adjustability on the slots. We do cut smaller parts and it's a pain when they fall down in. Also when they fall is when you tend to get really uh, messy edge quality. And that's of course uh, a bad thing for having good plasma cut parts. The, I'm fine running a water table. Some folks really seem to, to, to like downdrafts. So kind of open to that. The, the downside with the downdraft is you've got to basically seal up all the non-covered areas. And I think that can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, the, the water doesn't have that problem. I would love, and this may be too expensive for us, but I would love a automatic drain and flush water system with like a ballast tank that you can lower and raise the water level. You can have it top off and you can you know, lower it to clean it out or retrieve parts out of it. That would be awesome. And part of me thinks, well, maybe you could DIY that it would be, would be fun, but that's it. So would love to hear, there seem to be a ton of mom and pop companies. Uh, I would love to go to a trade show and learn more, but we're not going to one soon. And we'd probably like to upgrade this machine in the next three or four months. And I thought, well, I just asked you guys. So who has a plasma machine that they think, you know, runs great? We'd love to hear more in the comments below. Thanks folks.